Um, I'm not going to talk too long because we have the demonstration at Sony, as you know. This is very important because throughout the years, black artists have been taken advantage of. And it's time now that we have to put a stop to this incredible, incredible injustice. And uh, like uh, Mrs. Sharpton was saying, people from James Brown to Samuel Davis Jr., some of the real pioneers that, uh, that inspired me to be the entertainer that I am. These artists are always on tour because if they stop touring, they would totally go broken. And uh, it's been, the record companies really, really do conspire against their artists. They steal, they cheat, they do whatever they can, especially the black artists. Yes, and Sony Tommy Matola. Tommy Matola, the president of the record division. He is a mean, he's a racist, and he's very, very, very devilish. Yes. So I need your support, not just for me. When you fight for me, you're fighting for all black people. Dead and alive. It seems that to me, um, I really believe it's, it's a conspiracy because the story always ends the same. It's, we um, we pioneer, we innovate. You know, um, at the end of the story, you know, well, it's, it's not an accident. It's happened on purpose. So we have to put it into it forever. Love you, thank you. As I said earlier, reporting that they were called fat black niggas. This man made racist remarks. There's no way people are going to sit with our money. We're the consumers. They sell their CDs in our communities. And they make billions of dollars. Michael Jackson made billions of dollars for the industry. And now for him to ask for fatness is not controversial, it's no more than right. He does not want you to give your child money to buy his record and he not protect the integrity of your child. He does not want you to spend your money and not be respected by the people that make the profit. Now you may agree or disagree on anything, but we cannot disagree when it comes to our self-respect. This is about our self-respect. This is about our dignity. And if he will stand up, then I believe his community and all communities must stand up. As I stated before, he came a couple of months ago and stood at the Apollo with Bill Clinton and others. Now he stands for honors. I think that we have an obligation to make sure that this is done. Tens and tens of thousands we must mobilize and move forward. We have a Grammy Award winner James M. Tume, who as you know from the morning show at KISS FM, that will be helping Johnny Cochran and I coordinate this. I want him before we go off the radio to have some words. I'll make this very brief. I want everyone to call everybody you know tomorrow because we're going to be dealing this, with this on open line. And it's one thing you have to understand about what Brother Michael is saying. This has been going on forever. There's things that you have to know. We're going to deal with it in depth. But there's little, not little things, major things. For example, every record company uh, has contracts with a travel agency. 
Record company people travel all the time, hundreds of millions of dollars. Not one black travel agency is involved. Record companies hire people to do uh, uh, PR for them. Not one black. So you have to understand, not only is it the artist, which Mike was relating to, it is all the peripheral business that goes around the music. And remember, I always tell you, don't watch the puppet, always watch the puppeteer. And what's important about this brother standing up here like this today, first of all, when you come from the top, everything comes with it. What we need was an artist who had the heart and the commitment and the concern for the people. And I just personally, it's the first time the brother and I have met, but you know how I feel about the music industry. It is very powerful. I just want to have my son stand up. This is the next generation. And what Michael is talking about, leaving it open for these brothers and sisters. So we got a big, big task. I want everyone to tune in to Open Line tomorrow. Call everybody. We're going to go after the industry. And you're right. Tommy Matola is what it is. Nothing. We're going to bring Michael on out so we get ready for a demonstration. Michael Hardy will take charge. Michael won't say goodbye. Bye -bye. I just simply want to say that um, this isn't a new animal. I mean, this has been going on for a long, long time. Did you know that um, Otis Blackwell, you heard her name, Otis Blackwell? Otis Blackwell wrote most of the Elvis Presley songs. This man died penniless. Yes. And um, I'll never forget another great story when um, the Beatles first landed in uh, New York. Uh, they did New York uh, Ed Sullivan show. Uh, and they were in a press conference um, for the show. He said, hey guys, what kind of music do you listen to? What inspires you to write the songs you write? And back then they used the word color. They said, we love the colored music. That's where it comes from. But that isn't just then it also applies to now, and even more so now. So I want you to be strong and fight for a very important cause, you know, because the future is very important. And uh, there's a lot of talent out there. I want black people to be an institution, you know. We don't have the institutions that we should have. So please, it's important, okay? So when one is in pain, we all are in pain, okay? So we must put an end to this racism. Racism is bad. Tommy Matola made some very racist remarks, okay? Yeah. Are you talking about Bring He, um, you want to say it to me? Well, he, but what he said was to one of the artists who work at uh, Sony, he has a contract with, uh, with the company, and um, he called him a fat black nigger. And uh, I can't deal with that. You know, it's But just remember also that when an artist break all-time records, and I'm not here to brag, because what I've done in the record industry, I've broken from Elvis to Beatles to... Oh to, this, to this day, to this day, Thriller still is the largest selling album of all time. right, saving them from bankruptcy. And I made billions of dollars for Sony. And they, what they did was really terrible. And not just to me, but some of their other artists too. You know, uh, from George Michael to Mariah Carey to, you know, yeah, yeah. 
Now, he has got to go. He has got to be turned off. I want to thank Reverend Al Sharpton. Without you, we couldn't have done this. We're crazy. Thank you. I love you all very much.